Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another Chart Nerd TA video. Today, we're going to be diving into Chainlink. The ticker is Link USD. We're looking at the daily time frame. You can see that I've got this um, sort of boxed off area here for Link. Now, this is Link's support and resistance zone. Some sort of, you can see it's just basically sideways action, choppy choppy through this sort of range. Um, and, and you can see you've got a levels of support down here where you've had these wicks and, and closes, points of contact, and you've also got this level of resistance up here. So bear in mind that this range here ranges between $5.50 to 20. Uh, that's the, the, the support line right now. And the resistance area for us is around $9.50. So you can see that we've actually had four points of contact on support, uh, and we've only had three points of contact on resistance. So potentially what I think Chainlink's trying to do now is, is basically work his way back up to this resistance point once once more uh, but we do have resistance above ourselves before getting that that long opportunity up towards that nine dollar fifty area uh, and what i've got on here inside this box as well we've got this white line here which is the 100 day sma so it's the smoothed moving average okay um, and this can it helps us indicate again in, in regards to what sort of trend we're in at the moment as a downtrend you can see that since you actually lost it back here in december 2021 after getting this daily death cross, you can see you met it as resistance. You did have an overshoot here, but you formed again another death cross. And since then, you didn't actually backtest this 100 day SMA since the 11th of January 2022. So it took a very long time. Uh, and, and the next point of contact, we actually retested it was November. 2022 so you gotta think that's a good nine months worth of not back testing it and actually continuing to put in new lows but since it did hit this um five dollar twenty range you can see it has been consolidating so you could speak and this could be some sort of accumulation phase before Chainlink makes a decision on which way it wants to go again xrp is in something very very similar i do believe as well uh you know it's holding its june lows xrp and Chainlink have literally been some of the projects i've been looking at that have actually been holding these lows where altcoins other alts have you know come down lost them met them as resistance and put new lows in but Chainlink and xrp are holding up very very strong what i wanted to look at here is our potential resistance moving forward again we're looking at this nine dollar fifty range if we do get to that we are tackling above this 100 day sma which we met here as resistance as i said in november so we do need to be careful we've got this looming on our heads and as i said since um since that january time of 2022 we've not been above that for for very long or sustained above it you know we fell just shy of it here and we haven't actually back tested it for nine months well, we didn't back test it sorry till november at that point we retraced back down to the lows that we was looking at the five dollar twenty range and now we're looking to to sort of rete retest this 100 day sma and i do think this could act as potential resistance moving forward so what i think we would like to see here for Chainlink, if we just zoom in a little bit here for chain link here on the daily we've got the 20 and 55 ema we've got a bullish cross which is great because you've come up impulsively broke through the emas back tested them as support again broke out another high came back to them for support again for a second time and now you're getting this third impulsive break so i do think we are looking to retest this 100 day sma potentially in the next couple of days uh, but it, it, it depends what happens at this point as i've said you've got the bullish cross the back test of support which is lovely confirms a breakout but we do have this 100 day sma above us that we was currently rejected by in in november 2022 so we do need to see ourselves break back above that confirm and sort of hold on it okay let these emas catch up for a little bit here on the, on the daily and then get your break to retest nine dollars fifty i think and potentially what this could be here for link is some sort of wave where you've got a wave one this is your wave two right now your wave three uh hopefully tackle out of this uh 100 day sma which is roughly around seven dollars sixty sitting at current price uh there you know if you did take that out and run into resistance uh, a 790 pull back for a wave four somewhere and then get your breakout for your wave five retrace it back up to these highs i think that's a potential here for for link uh and you can see going off of this low here retracing to this high you know the 1618 target just sits sits above that at nine dollars eighty and you've also got the eight dollars uh sixty sixty cent mark there so you could be working our way potentially working our way towards that mark you know as long as you're holding support on these emas here bouncing through the fibs if you tackle this one fib at seven dollars eighty which is this local resistance so we're bouncing from this low retracing to this high if we could tackle out that seven dollars eighty we are looking for a push up to one of these areas here and again we have had three points of contact on this support and resistance box for a while we've had sorry three points on resistance and we've had one two three four points of contact of support so are we looking to work towards these targets and get our fourth point of contact on resistance and have an equal amount uh in, in regards to space and time here for for chain link and this has been just one sort of sideways accumulation zone before a breakout occurs 
Um, again, my potential, I wanted to show you guys my, my bearish targets here for Link and also my, uh, my bullish targets for Link. So just got the EMAs off there. I've got everything off at the moment. We're going to get rid of this as the second. So my bullish target for Link, I think within the next sort of bull phase or bull run that we go through, whether it's, you know, in this year, next year, 2025, whenever it may be, I think once a link does start to tackle above its all-time high and work its way towards this, you can see it's got this massive key level of resistance. Here on the weekly, it's very easier to see. You know, you're in some sort of phase where you're going sideways, waiting for a decision to be made. If you break resistance, I'd be expecting, you know, eventually to start pushing up to resistance areas of previous support uh, around the $16 mark, where we was holding this support here for link previously until we lost it and crashed okay and this is where you've been accumulating so i would be looking if you did break resistance i'd be looking to go long to 16 dollars uh sometime this year and it could confirm that potentially this is the you know a low balling out here and you are starting to to tackle on and, and re retry to hit those all-time highs there for link so that's the, the bullish scenario for me i think if you start breaking out of nine dollars fifty and actually closing above multiple times closing above this level of of resistance okay as you said we, we've been watching this resistance if we can get above that hold it as support i do think you'll be looking to long up to that 16 dollar mark this year at some point okay that's the bullish case scenario now if we do start to say run into this resistance and start to pull back here and eventually lose this as support here this five dollars 30 mark and hit your head on that we all have targets to the downside so what's the probability of that occurring for us right now well uh, not sorry not the probability the where we're looking to retrace to well you can see here that if we was to lose five dollars twenty i think Chainlink would have a minimum target down to four dollars forty and an extensive push to three dollars sixty uh which i think i have gone over before in previous videos for link you can see that these these areas these targets the one two seven two and the one six one eight they do back test the previous area of support uh sorry resistance that once we once Chainlink did break out of it, it hasn't back tested this area for support. And I've always said potentially you are looking to roll to some of these prices if we fail to break above nine dollar sixty, because this is the current range of support and resistance. If you fail to break out of nine dollar sixty and get the confirmation, and you're you you're restarting the the bull here for for Link, you know until you break that, we we can't say we're either bullish or bearish. Okay, if you, until you break resistance, can't say you're bullish. Until you lose support, we can't say we're bullish. Right now, it's just an accumulation range, and you can literally trade the ranges. But again, these are my downside targets falling back to this previous area of resistance that we've not back tested as support since breaking out in uh, that was in 2019 20 area. You know, so it wouldn't surprise me if we did have another rollover. These would be my targets to watch out for for link and it would provide us with more generational, I think, opportunity moving forward. Um, and I've just showed you your bullish targets there, didn't I? So the bullish targets. Uh, as I said, I think it was up to that $16. Oh, wait. Yeah, so actually, I didn't... If, if, if Chainlink, if you do see, this is where we start to head ourselves out of here, okay? And you start seeing us break above $53 within the next year or two. And we are sort of in this massive prolonged uptrend. You know, I see Chainlink going to at least $100 within the next bull market. That's only if it tackles out its, its, its all-time high at $54. Okay, guys, so that's a long way away, but... Again, my, bet, my, my my bullish targets in the next bull are between $99 to $219. And the bearish targets, if we lose support, is back down at between $4.40 and $3.60. So I hope you enjoyed the content today, guys. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, hit that notification bell. Uh, until next time, from Chartner TA, have a great, week, uh, a great weekend, people. Take care. Peace out.